Greetings Adventures, I'm Lauren Gaming, and I'll be your guild advisor for this video. Part 2 of the Grand Day event has been released, so we have a few new things added to the game now. Let's go over them. First of all, the Grand Day Legend Gacha banner is now out, featuring Elf's Honor Lafia and Honor Princess Eyes. Shortly after the release of this video, I'll have an analysis of the two characters, but in general, Honor Princess Eyes will be useful for single target boss fights against physical monsters, and Lafia has a strong kit for both AoE and single target magic. The last three paid for 100 Ears banners now released and you can get a guaranteed Eyes, Lafia, or Hestia depending on the banner you pay for. Question is, who is actually going to pay for Hestia when we have seven of her bonds already? Why didn't you come home, Belle? Why? Also, in the item shop you can now buy the Anniversary Enhancement Bundle. When you purchase the bundle, you'll get 30 of each large Falna, and 30 large Exilia books, and a choice between 11 draw adventure ticket, 11 draw assist ticket, or 11 Dry Anniversary Ticket. You'll get a 4-star Guaranteed Adventurer from the Adventurer Ticket, a 4-star Assist Unit from the Assist 11 Draw Ticket, and a Guaranteed Anniversary Character from the Anniversary 11 Draw Ticket. The Anniversary Characters are the new Belle, Hestia, Eyes, Lafia, Ryu, and Seer. This bundle costs 400 Paid Iris and can be bought 3 times. Now, let's talk about the big new update, the Raid. When you go access the Grand Day Event Quest, a new area will open up, called the Battlefield. You'll then be able to fight the Behemoth. This Behemoth is on a shared health pool across the global server, and every fight you clear will bring its health down. Now let's cover the fight. He resists all types of magic by 90%, so your best bet is to bring a physical team. He does resist physical by 40%, so bringing an assist like Anya or Hephaestus is recommended. Honor Princess Eyes and a new Bell can reduce its physical resistance further. Having the new Bell is especially good for this fight, I'll explain that later. He's immune to all ailments, so don't bother trying to use them. Let's go over the Behemoth's attacks. Gravity Break, no matter what difficulty you fight him, will always do 55% of your HP as damage. So, make sure to bring a healer and possibly an HP regen assist if you're scared of dying. His gigantic horn attack wipes away all of your buffs, so if you're using some defensive ones, be sure to keep an eye out and refresh them. His Gigantic Press is a single target physical move and he can use it multiple times a turn. It doesn't hurt too much, but if you're worried about it, you can use Oka's cover skill so he takes the damage for your other party members. Dead End Catastrophe is an AoE magic attack. Every 6 turns, the Behemoth will do an AoE magic attack that has a chance to stun your party members for the next turn. After that 6th turn, the boss's fire resistance will become negative 100%. This is your golden opportunity to use Bell's special attack and deal a ton of damage because his special is considered a fire magic attack and it scales off his strength. After two turns, his fire resistance will go back up, but again, on turn 12, he'll use the AoE and go back down to minus 100. So, if you have the new Bell, aim to use that special attack during the turns that Behemoth is weak to fire. In general for this fight, build a physical team and if you have the new Bell, he is especially helpful with his fire magic special arts. Remember that Anya and Hephaestus will help lower physical resistance. Don't forget, Silverman Shadow baits the beast killer ability, let to do extra damage against the beast type behemoth. Make sure to bring a healer and an HP regen assist. Miok, Naza, and Amid come to mind. Adventurers like Kino and Oka and even Rawl can help reduce the damage. If you're worried about the stun, you can use Misha or All Abroad Hestia. Killing the behemoth drops special crafting materials that you can use to craft the new behemoth weapons. There are 10 of these in total, and they can have up to 230 attack. When you craft one of these, there's a chance they can have up to 500 bonus health. And remember, you get 30 Eris for crafting each one, so that's a total of 300 if you craft all 10. This is just the first battle of the Behemoth boss. Every time a player defeats him during the quest, the health is subtracted from the global HP bar. When we do defeat this first boss, another battle will be announced and opened. When the Behemoth legs are unlocked and destroyed, you'll have access to a bonus quest, which will be unlocked for 12 hours. You'll earn a greater amount of drop items than usual in the bonus quest, but you can only do the bonus quest 5 times before it disappears and then you'll fight the standard behemoth again. So, we'll be in a cycle of clearing the global HP and waiting for the next quest to unlock. Until then, you can continue grinding the crafting materials that drop, as well as Hero Fulna and a good amount of Valus. For right now, there really is no point in doing the Valus quest. Just focus on the behemoth raid and you'll also get time limited rewards based on the amount of crafting materials you have gathered. For those curious about the Gnome Ticket Exchange Shop, it is yet to appear, and at this rate, I'm thinking we won't see it open until near the end of the event, when we exhausted all the Grand Gift rolls towards Gnome Tickets. And a reminder, you'll get a Hestia Bomb for completing Part 1 and Part 2 on Normal, 
but of course we'll have to wait for all the Part 2's raid quests to release before getting the Hestia Bond. The last thing to go over is that Isa's Heroic Trial is now available, so you'll be able to grind 400 tokens in order to get one of her bonds for limit breaking. I'll be releasing a guide shortly, and that pretty much covers Part 2 of the Grand Day event. I'll be sure to let you guys know if anything pops up after this. Until then, answer the call as an adventurer and crush that behemoth, claiming its body parts as your own. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. To stay updated on what I'm doing, follow me on Twitter and join my Discord for any questions and discussion. Continue enjoying your time adventuring in Rario and the dungeon. This is Lauren Gaming, signing out.